Hi everyone, so today we're doing another Q&A and the question is, should I use paid advertising in my interior design business? So, um, in order to answer this question for yourself, um, you'll want to know uh, why are you advertising? So, um, typically it's part of a larger marketing strategy, so um, you need to ask yourself whether um, that uh, what what it is that this advert specifically is going to do for you and what results you want from it because um, uh, in most cases um, interior designers are looking to get more clients but um, paid advertising isn't just to get more clients it's um, potentially to sell a product uh, product um, you're you know to get more clients you're probably wanting to provide a service um, are you creating brand awareness? Um, so are you trying to gener generate leads to um, sell a specific low cost product that you're um, doing through digital marketing? So what is the reason you're advertising? Um, that is firstly uh, what you need to get clear on before you can really make a decision whether um, you should advertise in your business. Um, obviously I work with um, specifically startups. So, um, you know, for me, I think for this video, let's focus on the purpose. Well, so the purpose of this video, I think let's f focus on um, how to get clients or whether um, it's right to advertise possibly at the startup stage um, to get clients to provide a service. Because I think this is typically why people um, or interior designers do advertise at the beginning because they they think that they're um, doing some kind of marketing and advertising because they're paying somebody to generate leads or potential clients for them but um in all honesty most of the time you're just wasting your money and just giving yourself the feeling that you're um uh getting hopeful that you might get a client does that make sense so to help you and guide you um you know before deciding uh, uh whether to uh, to pay for paid advertising um, to get clients, um, let's go through a few things which I think will guide you in the direction to see whether um, paid advertising is right for you. So firstly, um, do you know that the service that you're, um, that you're proposing to sell is actually sellable? So has anyone ever purchased this service from you? Um, and this is a really important question to ask because you, I mean, this is typically the reason why adverts fall down because um, you've never sold it before. And so how do you know that anyone actually wants your service? I mean, especially, obviously, um, startups will have copied their services from somebody else's website and think, well, if they're working for them, it must work for me too. So then they'll just pay to get some leads and think, well, I'm an interior designer. So if they're paying them to do the same job, they'll pay me doesn't really work that way because <laughs> um, there's a lot um, integrated into um, how um, you, you you sell something or anything and especially an interior design service which is a little bit trickier to sell than um, uh, even a, a, a product typically because um, there are other factors involved like a house price um, the the budget for the for the um, uh, project let alone the budget for your service so um, a few different factors uh, that you'd want to con uh, consider so before um, uh, deciding on whether an advert is right for you uh, make sure that you can sell the service or you've sold that service before to the type of client for the price that you want um, to um, and made a sale because you need to at least know that someone wants this this service from you in the way that you're offering it as well um, because if uh, you, you haven't proven it to work you, you're just you're hoping for the best it's kind of like yay <laughs> um, let's let's try and get some clients but um, you, there's no real kind of um, like there's no proof that um, even if people did come to your website or did call you that they would convert into actual paying clients so before advertising I would always make sure that what you're selling is sellable and people actually want to buy it secondly um what medium are you using to sell that service so is it uh, is it digital marketing or are you paying for an advert in a magazine and um are the people who you're selling to going to be 
um, seeing that advert and that's really really important because um, you can't imagine how many people advertise and this is typically local magazines um, uh, local kind of newspapers and things where someone will um, even house you know like um, a lot of the um, new new websites that are up to uh, generate leads for interior designers they may not be the kind of clients that you're actually looking for so um, I really question the medium of where your um, advert is going to be and do get the statistics get the facts as to whether your clients are actually reading that magazine or they're going to see that advert because um, once again even if it is sellable so if, even if your service does sell you may not actually be getting in front of the right people to make that sale or that conversion does that make sense um, so secondly or oh, thirdly um, the cost <laughs> And this always comes into it, but most people forget that this is actually kind of critical. Um, not only the cost of the advert, but the cost of your service needs to make sense against the advert or the advertising um, uh, kind of uh, strategy as a whole. Because if you're offering a $200 service, um, but your advertising costs are $100, um, and you can only um, provide a service um, like one or two of those a week, for example, um, then um, you're basically working for half the price, if that makes sense. So it's really kind of um, uh, uh, it, the, the advertising cost against the service needs to make sense. And it's really hard to um, justify advertising costs for low cost services. So again, I typically work with interior designers who are just starting out. So the, the cost of their services are typically a lot lower than um, you know, uh, uh, you know the kinds of projects that I work on, for example. Uh, but selling a, um, uh, I mean, even a, an online product for a high price is actually really difficult to sell to a cold lead, for example. Um, it's possible, <laughs> obviously I do that, um, but you need to know what you're doing in order to sell a high ticket item to people who don't know who you are. Um, they need to you know, get to know you or um, trust you in some kind of way that you actually have the skills to present the service that they're looking for. Um, so um, the, the cost of that advertising is really, really quite important, especially if, um, well, like I said, if you're offering a consultation or trying to um, you know, build, build a, um, an, even sell an e-design, for example, which is typically a low cost um, product, sorry, service, um, you'll be um, really close because marketing isn't cheap. Advertising isn't cheap. It's, it's typically very, very expensive. And so the cost of your service needs to make sense against the advertising costs so that you're actually making money on the service, not just, um, you know, getting lucky and getting a client and then working for free. Um, so hopefully this starts to make sense obviously if you're selling a product so if you're kind of selling a lead magnet um to sell like this product or something or um you know a subscription service of some kind this is slightly different because um it's a uh, you're selling a uh, well you're starting to get into, into digital marketing and um trying to um well you've got a marketing strategy tra strategy to um funnel people um typically into a passive um, income product which means that you're not actually spending hours working face to face with these people and so the quantity of people that you can sell to is a lot more um, and so as you can see that starts to um, make more sense so um, if I was selling a passive income product for a low cost um, then the advertising cost um, starts you know if it is uh, let's say if the cost of the product was uh, 20 let's say 20 dollars but, um, and I needed to sell um, 100 or 200 of those um, to cover my, uh, to uh, I reach the goal that I want, but I'm still only paying $100 for um, marketing costs or advertising costs, then this is starting to make sense because I can get those clients and make the money just by paying for the advertising fee, but I actually don't have to provide a service at the end of it, if that makes sense, because they're buying something that I've previously recorded or um, like a digital book that I've written or um, something else, even a product um, 
that I'm selling. So I don't have to physically sit there and provide a one-to-one -one service to somebody for a low for that low price. Uh, so just to kind of give you um yeah, I mean hopefully that kind of clarifies whether you would or wouldn't. Um, and it helps you think about the things you would question around um, you know, using paid advertising. Obviously, I work with startups, so once again, in my opinion, there are so many easier ways to get clients um, than paid advertising, um, uh, especially uh, your first you know, 10 clients. So um, I, like, this is just an opinion, I would say, why would you advertise when um, you just there's so many easier ways to get clients rather than learning digital marketing, um, creating a marketing strategy in place for that digital marketing and then testing it, doing the market research and all that. I mean, you're still going to do market research and um, test uh, your services, even if um, you're uh, creating uh, an interior design service. But it's much easier than um, obviously creating a lead generation for selling um a specific service um, in using digital media or um, digital marketing. Um, and if you don't know how to get clients um, as an interior designer, I've written a million blog posts about them. So um, I'll post some links below um, for you. So uh, uh, I think the latest one was um, how to get clients without a portfolio. Um, uh, and there's I've, I've written quite a few <laughs> how to get your first client, how to get hotel clients. Um, so there's uh, quite a few there for you to look through. Um, any questions, uh, just DM me. Any um, other videos that you'd like me to do, um, just get in touch too. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a broader um, understanding of um, why you would pay for advertising, why you wouldn't in your business. Um, yeah, see you next week.